Hi there, welcome back. Here we go for a little more cha-cha-cha. This is an interesting um, little variation of patterns that we can put in there coming off of that chase. Again, you can put it in anywhere that you want to. You'll also notice that we do a variation in footwork sometimes. There's three different footworks in a traveling step that are acceptable in cha-cha. As we're traveling forward and backward, you will see some movement that will be step together step, and then a rock step, step together step, rock step. You'll also see movement that's an actual passing of the feet, and it's pass your feet, rock step, pass your feet, rock step. That's number two. Number three is what we call a hook lock step. And sometimes as we're demoing, we'll go back and forth in and out of all of them. Just a matter of whatever is comfortable for you. When I travel forward and backwards, I like to use the hook locks because it gives upper body accentuation. Makes it a lot easier and you're not dancing so flat like this. That just doesn't have a lot of pizzazz. This gives it a little more look. Rock, step, cha-cha-cha, rock, step like that. So any of the three are fine, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, that hook lock step is simply a matter of the gentleman doing a rock step. I take my left foot back and I go across my right in front and I do rock step. When I come forward, I come forward with my right and I cross my left behind and I rock step back again. Cross in front, rock step, cross behind. Lady's footwork is the mirrored opposite of that. She's going to cross on the opposite footwork. Again, if it feels comfortable to you, use it. If it doesn't, silly gear. It's uh, just a matter of preference. So we finished up with our, our chase step. We led that off coming out of our, um, our crossover breaks. We went into the chase step. Now we're going to go right into the chase step, and I'm going to do three of those. Step, cha-cha-cha, rock, step. Cha cha cha. I tap my partner, she turns. Cha cha cha. She taps me. I turn. I don't. Now, this time, when she comes in, I'm going to present my right hand and we're going to go for a handshake position here. Ladies, this is where you have to be paying attention because we don't want your left hand. Guys, in order to get that handshake, you've got to reach across her just like you would when you're asking anybody for a handshake. Now, we're going to do three head loops here. We're going to start, and the rule for the head loops, it'll be easier for you to remember, is whoever's doing the back rock is the one that gets the head loop. So we're going to do our cha-cha-cha and do our first head loop. That's done like this. Cha-cha-cha. Now as I bring my partner in, she does a rock step. I bring my own right hand over my head, and we do a rock step together. Now at this point, I'm going to present my left hand to my partner's left hand. She's going to go back and do her Cha, cha, cha. I'm going to take my hand over her head and I'm going to do a head loop behind her and I'm going to do a hand change down here at the same time. Rock, step. I'm going to bring my partner in toward me and we're going to do a cha, cha, cha. I'm going to do a head loop this time. Rock, step. And I'm not going to do a hand change. As my partner goes back, cha, cha, cha. This time, instead of rocking forward, I'm going to rock backward. We still have a handshake position. As I do a back rock and my partner does a back rock, I'm going to turn my body to face this way or toward my partner's back and I'm going to rotate her to turn her back toward me. So it's going to look like this. Rock, lead. Now as we come together, I'm going to take my hand down my partner's back as I release my right hand. This movement is called a sliding door. We both do a cha-cha-cha in opposite to directions. My partner comes this way and I go that way. And then we do a back rock on the end of that. Cha-cha-cha. She does a back rock behind her and I do a back rock behind myself. Rock step. Notice guys, I didn't go for the hand. When my partner passes, I usually reach for the wrist in this movement. The reason is, if I try to reach her hand and I miss it, I lose her in the move. And there's no going back, we're just going to fall away from each other. And then we're going to do a freestyle move or whatever we get into. Now I've done a hand change here, so we're still back to a left-to-left -left hand position. We're going to do another half of that sliding door. Cha-cha-cha, I've grabbed the wrist. We both do a, a back rock step, rock step. We do one more, cha-cha-cha, rock step. This time as I bring my partner across, 
I'm going to do the same handshake position, cha, cha, cha. As she comes past me, instead of a back rock, I do a front rock into my partner. She does her standard back rock. Rock, step. We're going to do one more head loop. This head loop is going to go over my head on the rock step. Cha, cha, cha. I do the head loop here, but this time I put my left hand behind my partner. As we back up, cha, cha, cha. We're going to do a rock step together, and I'm going to pick her up in a practice position with both hands. Cha, cha, cha. We're back into our conventional dance, and we can do whatever we want to. So I know there's a lot there. We'll show it in the class. And uh, you can put these patterns together in any fashion or form that you want to. The main thing is you need to dance them a lot. You need to get it into that muscle memory. Just keep doing it and have lots of fun. So that's our cha-cha for now. Take care and uh, ciao, ciao.